John, what are you most excited about today? Uh, just finally wa- seeing her walk down the aisle. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, four years, almost four and a half years of dating, and then over a year of engagement, and just just to see her in a dress finally, and see her smile, uh, walking down the aisle. That's what I'm most looking forward to, and also just after everything happens just us to be together and be alone for a second take a, a good breath <laughs> uh, without even friends or family just just have times for herself and know that we're husband and wife that's what I'm looking forward to my love for her is unlimited it's uh, it's God uh, that, that's the best way the way God loves the church the way that a husband's supposed to love the wife uh, <laughs> even through a person's f- flaws or <laughs> through my flaws uh, it's unlimited we'll finally get in there eat <laughs> that's what I would tell her uh, and I just want to kiss her I haven't kissed her in like three days she didn't want to kiss uh, until like, we got down the aisle all week so I'm just waiting to finally be able to kiss her and it's going to be kind of funny to do it in front of everyone but say I love you. And this is crazy. For starters, like, this is here. Um, we've been talking about the wedding for so long, and we've been engaged, engaged for over a year now, so it's just insane that the day is finally here. I'm very nervous. I've been calm for days, and then it all hit me this morning, so very excited. Right now, I'm most excited about seeing John at the altar. I think his reaction is going to be great, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. I think he's gonna cry. John is sensitive in a great way, so I think he will definitely cry. He'll be smiling, I mean, he's always smiling, but he'll be smiling for sure. Um, I think some combination of those two, and he'll just be really excited. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a joyous occasion, the marriage ceremony of John and Chelsea. Dearly beloved, we have come together on this day in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God and creation and by our Lord Jesus Christ, who adorned marriage by his presence and his very first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. The Apostle Paul chose marriage to symbolize the union between Christ and his church. And Holy Scripture commends marriage to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to one another in prosperity and adversity. Into this holy union, John and Chelsea now come to be joined. John, we have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy covenant of marriage. Will you love her? Comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. If so, please answer, I will. I will. Chelsea, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. If so, please say, I will. I will. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught us that at the beginning of creation, God made male and female. For this cause, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one. You have come to be made husband and wife. In the name of the Father, 
and the Son and the Holy Spirit and by the authority vested in me as a minister of gospel and by the Commonwealth of Virginia. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may now kiss the bride. Walked in darkness, my home was a night. They came into my life, showed me brilliant light. Chelsea, when I look back over the last couple of years and I think through the moments of us meeting, going to the same graduate school and getting employed by the same company, and then I continue to think through how we became friends and got to this moment. I wrote that tears immediately well up in my eyes, but now I'm crying. <laughs> because only God could have orchestrated this. I was grateful for this, for him to be my best friend. Um, we did everything together, every every club, uh, after school club we was in together. Um, oh yeah, yeah, nah, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't go to the club. I didn't take, I didn't take him there. Nah, nah, I, physics clubs, things like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> and it, it's been, it's been a great journey. Um, I'm just happy that now he has someone who can truly like put all of that love into. So much deeper and God's gonna just grow it so much stronger in your relationship with John. And so I just wanna say we love you and we're so happy for you and we're so glad to be here on this day. We've waited for it for a long time. <laughs> But if you get to know John, you know his number one love, and that's Chelsea. Back when uh, John and Chelsea were living in different states, living in different counties, he would come down every other weekend, although that wasn't, wasn't enough. I mean, he would have come even more often if he could have. You see it in the way that he cares for Chelsea, the way he provides for Chelsea. Grace and name. 